Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. So we made it through the weekend. It's Monday. And like we do every Monday, I want to remind you that investing in crypto is risky. You can literally lose all of your money to a rug pull, bankruptcy, wallet hack, smart contract hack, or just a shit coin going to zero. Never invest more than you can afford to lose. Right? And on that note, the market still doesn't know where it wants to go. There's a lot of volatility it goes up a little bit then it comes down a little bit listen in times of uncertainty you can be buying the dip you can be uh, selling the dip or you can be sitting on your hands and doing nothing no position is also a position but we have some very very big events happening we have a big event happening today we have some uh, economic data that's going to be coming out this week that could sway an emergency fed meeting which we'll talk about that uh, we'll look at crypto prices of course and we'll look at the potential setups that could be forming here in the crypto market with bitcoin shiba inu ethereum xrp and more all i ask is that you give me a beautiful smile smishity smash that like button and let's get into it so Currently, Bitcoin is sitting at 58,764. There was a little bit of a dip here. Everything went red, but it popped back. So this shows you, this is the one minute chart, but it shows you how the market is still, uh, doesn't know where it wants to go. We had that sell off last night with the fears of potentially something happening with Iran, Israel. I told you guys that tonight it's starting this like holy holiday thing and going into tomorrow, the speculation around the country is if something is coming, it will come in the next three, four days. So we'll see if that is going to affect the crypto market. Just be on your toes, okay? That's, that's my plea to you. Be on your toes. Don't get complacent. Don't say, oh, the market is going up, right? We're going to the moon, right? Don't you know? And then, you know, shit happens and it starts falling, falling down. So there's going to, I see a volatility, especially this week, right? Where we have um, PPI coming out on Tuesday, CPI on Wednesday, uh, and retail sales on Thursday. We have a Fed speaking, Fed speakers, not the, the big Fed, but the local Fed speaking. Busy week ahead right from a financial standpoint uh, in the united states of america um so there's a lot of things happening so we need to be very careful this week we need to be on our toes right and not get complacent very very important but you can see like shiba inu is up uh 2.24 percent here also it popped it, it's basically to where it was um the price around where it uh, sold off last night right um so uh, nice comeback here for the crypto market, right? You see it sold off last night, but now coming back a little bit, right? XRP, Jasmine, right? most of the sell-off just got eaten up. So that's what I continue to say. There's fear and then it comes back. And then there's another little fear and then it comes back. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. I just want to see the futures on the stock market just open a few minutes ago. Let's see what's happening there. And we're up a third of a percent. So nothing too... Let's see, it opened up a little bit to the top, nothing crazy. And the VIX also is around 20. Anything under 20 is actually pretty, you know, very good uh, and shows, you know, positive momentum. So we'll see what happens uh, with that. Now we do have a very interesting uh, event that is happening tonight uh, with Donald Trump coming on uh, X uh, to do an interview with Elon Musk on his uh, account here the, the one that has 87 million followers it's going to be interesting uh to uh see uh what happens with that maybe crypto people will be happy about that elon trump right two people that the <laughs> crypto world uh is fond of and so we'll see what happens the v-shape recovery uh got hit a little bit but if we're looking at the four hour chart it went from the top of the stochastic full to the bottom of the stochastic full so nothing too surprising there that there was a little bit of a release of pressure uh, and potentially we could see right in in the longer term going up but again if there is something that you know happens and the market decides to tank because of world stuff quote unquote black swan events right then it's out of our hands right and if you want to do some you know 
short-term trading because this is all short-term stuff right this is nothing to do with you know we'll look at this in just a second this is long-term stuff but if you want to do more short-term stuff you can use margex our partner to short the market or to long the market for potential movements uh you know daily movements two day three day movements using leverage and then on a smaller amount you can make some big profits you need to be careful though because like i said if you have one of these sell-offs like we had right here then you could you could open a position and that uh, two percent drop gets you liquidated but after that two percent drop right I'm just looking at jasmine here a four or five percent movement in 50 minutes so you know there could have been some you know big gains there but we don't know we don't know and it's going to be very interesting to see where the market goes from here now if we take a look oh and by the way if you you if you are trading and you're interested in uh margex please trade responsibly okay uh the market can be very volatile so you might be up you might be down uh, and then you open a position and it flips on you. So be very careful, right? Uh, these kinds of days, uh, you can make a lot of money, but you can lose a lot of money. So please, please, please trade responsibly and I'll get a little commission. So thank you for that. So we are now in, in a setup, right? Where we have seen this in the past, where the crypto market has given us a sense of, oh no, it's over, it's the end of the world, right? is volatility we've seen this for lesser in 2012 because you know that's that's already a long time ago and the market was totally different then but in 2016 we had similar movements going into 2017 which is the big the big the big time right uh that was a presidential year and then we had 2020 which was also a presidential election year of course it had the pandemic but this is also with the four-year cycle. So on the one hand, you say, oh, presidential year, but also you have uh, the four-year cycle weighing on the crypto markets. The miners, the Bitcoin miners can't hold anymore, right? Um, the, the profits are down 50% after the halving. And then they get to this boiling point where, where it, can't, it can't stay at that price anymore. Right? There's a lot of factors, of course, that are affecting what's happening with the crypto market. But... People like Michael Saylor that have been investing in crypto um, for, you know, for the cycles. They don't look inside the cycles. They just, they just ride the cycles and they keep buying and buying and buying and buying. Four years ago, MicroStrategy adopted Bitcoin as its primary treasury reserve asset. Since then, MSTR has outperformed 499 of the 500 stocks in the S&P 500. Right? The only one that was better was super micro and it has fallen since. So I don't know if this is, uh, this was, um, you know, maybe this is updated. If, if crypto and Bitcoin continues to, to rise and continues to go up, this is going to be, you know, maybe one of the greatest uh, growth stories ever uh, of a stock that invested in, you could say it's a business, but it's like, you know, when a, a company invests in real estate or invests in, in things that, you know, potentially could make money and then the valuation of the company goes up, right? If one company buys another company and then that company makes them a lot of money, here, MicroStrategy decided to buy Bitcoin uh, as a potential investment um, vessel and the asset has gone up significantly. So, well, if... By the time you know this cycle ends, MicroStrategy is going to be up a lot. You're going to see more and more companies uh, and maybe governments, <laughs> right? We'll see what happens with Trump um, adopting uh, Bitcoin as its reserve. And of course, that will change everything, right? If the US actually does this. Uh, and it's going to be very interesting to see uh, what happens tonight with Trump and, um, and Elon Musk. Uh, what happens this week with the CPI data and what the Fed will do. Uh, what will happen with Iran and Israel? This week is a very interesting week. Um, you know, like I said, crypto is now going up, um, but it can change on a dime for short day trades and things like that. Uh, volatility is amazing. Uh, it can also be very, very, um, you know, detrimental. Uh, so you have to be careful and you have to be in and out of trades. Uh, but it's going to be a very interesting day and a very interesting week that could affect what's happening with the crypto market long term.
Of course, we have short-term news and we have long-term news also on this channel. Um, so if you want more daily news updates on the crypto market, subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, check out the links in the description down below. Of course, not financial advice and you should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.